Hi, I'm Ron Goodrich with Campbell Scientific. Today I'm going to walk through programming Campbell Scientific's Vacuum Sampler 16 Touch keypad controller for a 4 to 20 milliamp input with a time step programming sequence. The simplest and easiest way to program our sampler is to push set. And then you're going to push number four first of all. In this case, we want to have it say disabled, but if it didn't come up with disabled, you're going to push either the left or the right arrow keys until it does come up to disable. As we go through it, you'll see it says time day, pulse input, 4 to 20 milliamp input, external contact, level control, and disable. We want to leave it there. Now we're going to press enter, and then we're going to press set number five, sample initiation. In this case, we want it to be a 4 to 20 milliamp input. If we use the left or right arrow keys again, we will see that we get the same uh, op options, external contact, disabled, interval time, which is new now, pulse input, 4 to 20, which is where we're going to be. To be able to input our pulses for the 4 to 20, we need to press enter, and we need to enter how many pulses it needs to have before it's going to trigger. And you need to be able to calculate based upon what your low and high uh, flow rates are in your average and in about where you'd want it to trigger every time. In this case, uh, I have input the number 730 and all you have to do, you can change that number by pressing the zeros or scrolling left or right with the arrow until you get the number that you want. When we're finished, we're going to press enter. Then we're going to go to set program type in this case, we were looking for the time step, and we can write arrow, and this is a composite sampler. We can do daily cycle, consecutive, multi-composite, or in this case, we're going to be doing a time step. We want to press enter, and then we have to select how many bottles do we have in our sampler. In this case, this sampler would have two bottles as a discrete sampler, and this means that we want to have it sample for X number of times into one bottle and then at a given time it will then switch and begin sampling in bottle two. To change those numbers if you had more than two bottles, if you have 12, 10, 24 you just right arrow until you get to the number that you have. In this case we have two bottles and we're going to press enter once again. Step interval is when do you want to have this happen. In this case, it is set at 12 hours. We could change that to every 24 hours, every one hour, whatever, and have it to switching back and forth. With that completed then, uh, we press enter. Then we want to press restart two times. When we press restart two times, it will show completed, and the sampler is ready to begin at that point. Now one other thing that we want to check here though is we want to be able to look at what our purge time is set at and just verify. So what we're going to do is we're going to press set once again, number three, other options. And if the power has been off for some time or if you've had to reset it or if the battery inside has gone dead, you may want to check the clock and so press enter. In this case it says the time is the 6th of April 2017 at 6.42 p.m. And that is correct. By pressing enter you can change it to the different options and be able to go through and change your time from a.m. p.m. the day, the month, and the year. We're finished there. Now we want to be able to look at and check to see what our purge time is and so we need to have pushed the set number three again and right arrow or left arrow until we see purge time. It is set at five seconds. For a 25 foot hose we would need to have this set at 10 seconds and if you calculate the EPA's rate at two and a half feet per second uh, into a 25 foot hose that would be 10 seconds. So you can use that formula to calculate what you would have to have. If your hose is longer, you would need to increase that time. So we're going to change the time to 10 seconds and press enter. Now we're going to press restart once again and the sampler is ready to go.